welcome to Katrina's Creations. This is episode 284 and I've got a lot of things to talk about today. So let's get started. Lots of announcements and a giveaway winner and another upcoming giveaway after that. So yeah, lots to talk about. Let's get started with a finished object. My first finished object is the virus shawl that I was working on last week and I was almost done last week so you can see right here I just basically came through and did the last two rows and called it done so here is this is one side of it and this is the other side of it and here's down the center so it's a good sized shawl I'll wrap it around me so you can kind of see how far down it goes this is going to be sold at a craft fair, or I might just sell it online in my Etsy shop. So there it is. So it hangs down. It hangs down to my waist in the front. Uh, and in the back, it is hanging where the point is, is slightly below my waist. It's down at my hips. So it's a good size shawl. So I'm happy with this one. Then I started, I had the rest of the yarn from, this was yarn that was from Pound of Love, which is Lion Brand. So a lady at church had, let me untangle this so I can show it to you. I've got the other skein of yarn tangled around it. This is yarn mayhem apparently because I've got this ball of yarn tangled around the brown ball of yarn I'm trying to show you at the moment. And I just managed to tie it in an even bigger knot. Okay, here we go. I've got it undone, finally. Okay, I have this left and one more ball of yarn a little bit bigger than this. And a lady at, a at our church was wearing a shawl the other day. And I noticed it, and she was sitting next to me, so we were talking about it. And I realized that it was a C2C, but it was just the increases, not the decreases that make it square. And then it had like the last two rows of my virus shawl, that kind of a loop thing, it had that at the bottom. And it had like two rows of loops. So I thought, well, I'll try that. I've discovered the C2C takes a lot more yarn than the virus shawl does because I've gone through about three balls of yarn so far and this is all the bigger it is. It's only, let's see, going across, it's maybe three feet across but it's not very deep and if I put this on you can see it is much much shorter so I don't know how big this is going to be and I actually ripped this out once because I noticed it it looked like it was just really really tight and I realized I was using a 5.5 millimeter hook so then I changed to I ripped that out started again I'm using a 6.5 which is a K um, or a ten and a half something or other but anyway it's a, it's a K sized hook and it's still I still could have made it a little looser because you can see what this looks like so because this is dense it's not going as far so I'm hoping between this ball and the next that I at least have enough to complete the triangle um, yeah it's not big enough right now so hopefully I don't end up ripping the whole thing out Although I might have some more of this yarn upstairs. We'll have to see. I have to make a trip upstairs to the craft cave anyway, so I will look around to see if I have some more of this and if it matches in case it's a different dye lot. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But that was what I was doing with my crochet. And then my knitted project is also a scarf. Our scarf is also a shawl. And this is the Boneyard Shawl by Stephen West. And when I showed it to you last week, you can see I just started into this gray section here. And so I've gone all the way through the gray section and I'm now in a pink section again and I only have this much more of the pink section. Now the next color of gray, and I did not bring it in, but the next color of gray in this gradient set, I'm not gonna use. I put it up against this gray and it definitely has a green undertone to it. Um, I'll stick a picture in so you can see what I'm talking about. I 
I don't like the way it looks at all. So anyway, that skein I'm going to set off to the side and when I go up to the craft cave I'm also going to look for, this is worsted weight yarn and it is 100% merino I believe. I think it's superwash. I'm not positive. I have to look at the label. So I'm going to see if I can find another gray that's the same fiber uh, that's upstairs that will go with this a little bit better because yeah, as you can see it just it looks it's a moldy color gray it just it has definite green undertones by itself it would be fine but combined with this I don't care for it so worst comes to worst if I don't find a gray that I like that goes with this I'll just use the other two lighter grays that are in there and the shawl will be slightly smaller it's still going to be a good sized shawl I mean I don't have it opened up right now I can't because it's you know bunched up on the needles but just one side of it right now is probably about two feet. So it's about four feet across right now. And I'm only into the third color. And I have a total, if I use them all, I have a total of eight. So yeah, this will be a good size when I'm finished. So we'll just play it by ear and hope I can find another gray that will go with it. So, so that's what I've been working on this week. What have you all been working on?
Now I just, if you hear some banging in the background, I don't know if you will or not, but my husband and I kept thinking that, that it was thunder outside, but it's cannons. Yes, I said cannons. Uh, I live just outside Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and the July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd are the anniversaries of the Civil War battle that took place in Gettysburg and around Gettysburg. The nearest battlefield to us is about a mile and a half down the road, and um, that's East Cavalry Field. But we were in town earlier today, and there was all kinds of reenactors and living history things going on throughout the weekend. So I just realized that it's cannons I'm hearing going off, I believe, not thunder. Although we could get a thunderstorm. Um, it kind of looks like that might happen. But anyway, um, so if you hear any rumbling, it's cannons. So Now I ran a giveaway last week. It started last week. It's ending today. And it was because this channel has now 3,800 subscribers. So let me announce the first or the winner of that because then we're going to talk about another upcoming well two more upcoming giveaways okay so i used random comment uh picker from youtube and we had 150 people leave comments in last saturday's video to be entered and the winner is two arctic wolves now she has been watching for quite a few years uh so i'm not sure where she lives um, but anyway, she won. So get in contact with me at my email address, which is Katrina's creations at yahoo.com. Um, and give me your address and I will get your prize out to you. So what did she win? She actually won something kind of special because about four years ago, my husband and I went in, va went on vacation up to new England and we went to webs. Webs is a big yarn shop in Northampton, Massachusetts and that's where I bought this yarn. Uh, if you go online and look for webs it shows up as yarn.com and it's this big store. The front of it has like your full priced regular yarns which is where I bought the yarn I'm going to show you. But behind the building, well it's, it's part of the same building but you go through this little door and it goes into a warehouse where they have a lot of their uh, discontinued or discounted stuff. I think I bought some yarn for like two or three dollars. You know, I I walked out of there with three bagfuls of yarn and spent like $149, but it was probably about $500 worth of yarn. I had a lovely time there. So anyway, here is what she won. This is... She won Liberty Wool Light. It is, it is a fingering weight. It's Classic Elite Yarns is the brand. And it does not have a color... It just has a lot number and a color number. You think they would have named it. Uh, but it is 100% washable wool. And there are 200 yards in a 50 gram skein. So it is fingering weight. But look at these beautiful colors. And there's, you can see some more of them in here. And you can look in there and see some of the prettier colors as well. So. Yes, yeah, so it is a, a variant, uh, variegated, I guess, what you'd call it. It's got lots of colors in it. So I think it's really pretty. So congratulations. Like I said, get in contact with me. Again, the winner is two Arctic Wolves, and I will get this sent out to you. Now, other upcoming giveaways. We have the Christmas in July Fairies, which I'm going to talk about in a couple minutes. Uh, but as of the filming of this podcast on Friday afternoon, we now have on the channel almost another 100 subscribers since last week. So we have 3,892 at the time of filming. So keep your eyes out for another giveaway. It'll probably happen next Saturday. Uh, so yes, be watching for it because we'll do another yarn giveaway. Now we're on to the Christmas in July fairies. Now, if you have not entered yet, you have until July 15th, and you have to enter on a specific video. If you click the link right here, and I will also put it at the end of this video, the link to take you over so you can get entered for my channel for Christmas in July fairies. So it's going to be a lot of fun because I got an advent calendar. It's in this little bag here. And 
it's the 12 days of Christmas. So starting tomorrow, which is July 3rd, each day I will be opening a little package of mini skein of yarn. And this is, they are 10 gram skeins and they're all fingering weight. So every day from the third, from the third until the 14th, tune in to see what I get in there. And I'm doing some like little history type of and fun type of videos along with those. So um, for instance, we are going to have a little video on the history of knitting, on the history of crochet. Um, for the Christmas in July fairies um, entry on my channel, you had to put down what kind of crochet hook or needles you use. And a good majority of you said you used Boy, Susan Bates, or Clover. I kind of dove down the rabbit hole and started researching the history of those companies. So one of the days I'm going to talk about the history of those three companies. It was really interesting. I learned a lot of things. Uh, but we're also going to have a regular Saturday podcast within the yarn unboxing. There is a Knit Crate unboxing planned. There's a Lion Brand unboxing planned. So yes, lots and lots of things coming up every single day from starting tomorrow on July 3rd until July 14th. On July 15th, I will be drawing the winner um, for the Christmas in July fairies. And then I will be passing that person's, so they'll get a prize from me. And then I will be passing their name onto Dana's Wonderlust Crochet. Dana is the one that, that heads up the Christmas in July fairies. And she will take all of those semi-finalists and on July 25th, draw one winner from the semi-finalists. And that winner will get a prize from all of the participating channels. So yeah, it is a huge, huge giveaway. And this is the third year she's done it. And it's been a lot of fun each year that I've participated. You know, I like wearing the tiara. It's not on my head right now, but that, you know, I like wearing my tiara. So it gives me an excuse to pull it out of the box once a year and stick it on my head. So yeah, lots of videos coming up. So make sure you watch for those. Now in my acquisitions this week, if you missed Wednesday's video, you can click the link right here and it will take you to it. I had a buy one, get one from um, Knit Crate. So I got four skeins of this because I actually purchased an, an old Knit Crate box. So it actually had the little goodie in it, which was, I think it was chapstick. So I got the chapstick and I got um, the patterns I already had that were in there. And I have four skeins of this yarn. It is a dark charcoal gray. There you can see it. And the funny thing is, is I did try it up against this. It actually would work, except that this is the darkest. I'm going from dark to light. So that would not work to go that direction. But anyway, um, so I have four skeins of this. The color is slate. It is Audine Wool's flannel, and it is a 47% 40 Surrey alpaca, 38% alpaca wool, and 15% non-superwash merino wool. Non-superwash means you, you have to hand wash it. You can't throw it in the washing machine. Um, let's see, there's 231 yards altogether, and like I said, I have four skeins. So I have slightly over 1,000 yards altogether which is good. So I can make something very substantial with that. And then the other thing that I bought, I bought one, so I got a second one free. This is Mrs. Crosby's Loves to Play and the color is called Steamer Trunk. Or no, it's Steamer Trunk is the brand, I guess, or I guess the, the base. That must be the base. It's 100% superwash merino wool. 164 yards. It is a worsted weight. It's kind of a light worsted weight. And the color is Sahara. So let me hold these two together so you can see them. There's lots of teals in this. Shades of teals and browns. So it's really pretty. So that is my acquisitions. Now it's time for... Now in our Come and Get It section, Knit Picks is running a summer sale, 60% off, or up to 60% off of yarn until the 24th of, of July. So um, that is all the links to all these sales are down below in the description box. If you look at the bottom of the video 
and you see the little word in bold that says more click the more and then it opens up and you can just scroll down and find these different sales so knit picks is up to 60 percent off of yarn you don't need a, a coupon code or anything it's already marked down lion brand check out their clearance section they have and i never knew the i didn't know what these were till i googled them style stitch kits for 9.99 this is in clearance so i thought well what is style stitch kit it's a purse it's a it's a knitted or crocheted purse so um it's the yarn and everything it's like a kit to make a purse so now that was thunder so uh, that was not a cannon. That was thunder. But anyway, uh, yes, so we have a style stitch kit for $9.99 in the clearance. And then until July 5th, so you have till Tuesday, they are having up to, or no, it's just straight off the top, 35% off. You do need to use a coupon code July 35 in order to get that discount, and you just put that at checkout. So that is Lion Brand. Mary Maxim and Jimmy Bean's wools, check out their clearance section. Um, I didn't see any other sales running, but they have some pretty good deals over in their clearance, so check those out. And then Lovecrafts is having, they do it every year, they have a big July sale. So that is running as well. So any of those links you click or you cut and paste, it'll take you over and you can check them out for yourself. So that is it for, well, for today, because starting tomorrow we're going to have like almost two weeks of solid videos 10 12 days plus the one yeah it'll be two weeks two weeks worth of videos from this saturday and then it'll run through all of the advent calendar and then the following day i will be announcing the winner and then i think there's another saturday podcast after that so lots of video we'll just put it that way lots of videos coming up so <laughs> I hope you will join me each day to watch what I unbox and to hear a little little history or a little fun video or a little unboxing of some something good and yarny. So, uh, yeah. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. And I will see you again next Saturday with probably another yarn giveaway. Bye, everybody.